Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Ulanzi WL1 wide angle lens for the Sony ZV1. So, if you missed my unboxing of the UU Rig metal cage for the ZV1, you can see it at least on camera right here. Uh, so far, an interesting offering, affordable, and that's really the beauty of what uh, Ulanzi or UU Rig, depending on what they're branding in terms of the actual product launch, has to offer in this cage for the ZV1. But Many of you know, one of the things that is a must have for the ZV-1 is a wide angle lens. And of course, most of them on the market, uh, the ones that are out there right now, adapt, of course, uh, magnetically. So uh, UU Rig, aka Ulanzi, sent over this little guy and uh, it feels weighty, at least in the packaging right now. Uh, I'm not sure how much wider this is going to make things, but we're going to find out. Uh, the upside is that, again, like most of uh, Ulanzi's products, it is affordable. Uh, and hopefully the quality is there with this because uh, the last thing you want to do is put a wide angle uh, lens on the ZV-1 and degrade quality. Now I'm not expecting anything perfect, uh, but I am expecting something that's going to work. So without any further ado, let's take a look at this thing. So the first thing out of the box, uh, wide angle and macro two in one paperwork. So we've got some instructions and Essentially, from what I'm seeing here, it's just the actual application process. So they're saying, um, basically, you're going to take, and I believe this is uh, the companion product to this that you're going to need to actually mount it, and that's what it looks like, is that this is going to actually be attached to the lens assembly first, and then that's how it's going uh, to actually magnetically mount onto your lens. So uh, they're showing you, you got the, uh, the front, lens cover, which is the lens cap right here. Let me take the whole assembly out, why not? So there it is. Little cleaning cloth at the bottom. And that's pretty much it in box. So, as I was just saying, we've got the actual lens cap, and then you have the actual wide angle lens itself, then the macro, uh, as well as the adapter ring and the rear lens cover. So, rear lens cover obviously right here, which screws off. It's this piece. And uh, this is a you know, little bit more substantial than what I was even really expecting, surprisingly. Um, so, give you a quick look at this. There's the actual lens. And in terms of mounting, based on what I saw there in the instructions, and I'll just pop this back into this for a moment just to take a look at that again. It's showing us that you're going to, it says, fix the adapter ring to the original lens by sticking by stickers after your camera is turned off. So it looks like it's gonna have to come out of this in order to apply this. And I'm wondering if the actual uh, wide angle lens adapter is gonna be compatible with the cage. It'll be interesting to find out. Um, but we're going to attach this, I believe, um, because there's nothing in this, um, in the actual packaging with the WL-1 to indicate uh, that we've got anything other than really the actual uh, lens cap, the wide angle lens itself, and the adapter ring and the rear cover lens. I'm not seeing the actual, or excuse me, I, I, this has to be the adapter ring because I'm not seeing anything else. Uh, but, so number one is fix the adapter ring onto the original lens. Uh, and then number two is remove the front and rear lens covers. Then three is clockwise tighten the lens on the adapter ring. And then four is clockwise remove the front wide angle lens module. Macro will work is what they say. So let's go ahead and open this up as well. Let's see what we're working with here because it seems fairly straightforward. Now these are additional stickers it appears. And based on what we just saw in those directions, this does look like the right piece. We do have 3M uh, double-sided uh, tape there, which is what should adhere to the camera itself, right onto the lens barrel like that. That looks about right. And then from there, we should be able to mount this. So let's see, I'm gonna do this on camera. We'll get this done and we'll see how things turn out. 
See, that's letting you know that this is the wide angle macro. So it's 52 uh, millimeters, by the way, for those of you that were wondering. And I'll keep this on for the time being since that's what they're telling me to do. Um, I am curious about these guys, um, what they are needed for, because we do have already, as I've stated, a double-sided piece of tape right there to actually put this on. So I'm not sure what that's necessary for, but we're gonna figure it out one way or another. I assure you of that. Uh, so let's see. Let's take this off. And it doesn't look like it'll be a problem in terms of compatibility with um, the actual cage that we've got here. But I'm trying to peel this without taking off more than I'm supposed to. Let's see if I can get it off. It looks like they gave us an extra. And there we have it. So that is off. Now it's a matter of lining this up properly. So let's see if we can do that. It's not the best angle for me here, but I still should be able to get this centered. That looks pretty good, right? I think so. Look up at my camera, check it out. So I think I'm a little off, a little off. Let's see if I can do a, see, this is the one thing I was concerned about is that in the event you mount slightly off, like I did, I'm a little bit strong on the left side. I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to remove that. In fact, it does not look like I can remove that. So I'm gonna leave it. It's a little off, but not the end of the world. Now, per the instructions, removing, of course, the rear cap, treating this just like we would a, a traditional lens. And based on what we're reading here and in the instructions, this should just thread right on, should. At least that was my understanding. See if that's actually tightening. It doesn't seem like it is. And I do have to wonder with this amount of weight, whether or not this is going to flex uh, the ZV-1's lens assembly as it comes out. Um, this seems like it's, it's on, it's tight now. Uh, so now it's just a matter of popping this off and let's see what we ended up with here, okay? All right, so that seems to have done fairly well. And hmm, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good based on what I'm seeing here. Um, take, a, take a look around the studio. Yeah, it definitely made things considerably wider. I'm gonna have to test it and see uh, what it actually, or how soft things possibly have become. Uh, not the most beautiful looking setup, but it certainly works uh, based on what I'm seeing here. So um, I will, of course, update all of you on its overall performance, whether or not I think it is a competent wide angle adapter. Again, my um, uh, adhesive job wasn't perfect, but uh, it's working here with uh, the actual cage, which I presumed it would. Looks good, and since this is already not a pocketable camera, if this is actually going to work out as that pops off, then I think it is going to be something a lot of people are gonna be interested in. Now, there are other uh, wide angle lens uh, adaptive systems out there for the ZV-1, so this is, is not the only of its kind, but this is the most heavy duty that I've seen, and the fact that it's got the macro option is certainly nice. Um, and if my memory serves from those instructions all of you know, a few minutes ago, simple turning here should get us to the macro portion, and there it is. So pretty cool that you have both macro as well as a wide angle option here, and I don't know, it seems like they did a solid job, but I will have to actually see how the glass performs. Um, and of course I will report back. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.